Okay, are you ready? Now I'm ready. Tiger has a 13900K CPU and he wants to know if Windows 10 or Windows 11 is better for gaming at 4K. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price, get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. I have not actually tested Windows 10 on the hybrid chips. No, we've only got 11. Do you know why? I don't care. Here's my philosophy. Intel and Microsoft have both said that while the 12th and 13th gen will run on 10, they're designed for 11, 11 has an improved um, process scheduler, and it's where the future is. 11 has now also been out for nearly two years. Yeah, that's why everyone's saying Windows scheduler. Windows 11 has been out for almost two years. Two years? Yes. I understand that not everybody wants to upgrade the day a new version of Windows comes out. But there comes a point at where it's like, yeah, it's time to get on with things. Now, this does not mean people with existing machines need to upgrade. If you've got a Ryzen 9 5900X, an i9-10850K, fine, stay on Windows 10, that's fine. But when you build next, go to 11. My understanding from seeing other people's reviews is that for the most part, 10 and 11 are fine on a 13900K, but I'm gonna put two caveats to that point. The first, most of those videos were done when the chips launched, oh, not today. Gotcha. A lot of updates have happened since then. And number two, just like my previous rant about benchmarking, a lot of those tests are run on clean test benches with nothing installed and nothing going on. Real computers with 14 things in the task tray. I don't need more complications in my life. Intel and Microsoft say Windows 11. What does our 13900K at the office have installed? 11. That's the end of the conversation for me. I don't, I don't need to fight this. Windows 10 is eight years old. Mm. It goes end of support in two years. There it is. Roman, thank you, Roman. He says, do you believe that today's current version of Windows 11 is just as good for gaming as Windows 10 Pro? Well, you just answered that, didn't you? I haven't noticed a difference worth caring about. I haven't specifically benchmarked them back and forth. To do so, you'd really have to use like an i9-10900K where it doesn't matter which one you're on. That's a lot of work. I remember when Windows Vista came out, a lot of people made this same argument. Windows 95 came out, people made this argument. Windows XP came out. I mean, I've heard this is this, an ongoing, every time there's a new version of Windows, somebody says, oh, wow, this is not the same thing. Well, here's a fun one. Which version of Windows 10? There's been like 10 of them. Yeah. Windows 10 is not a single OS, despite the version numbering. They've really, instead of doing the Patch Tuesdays and the, and the constant patches they used to do, they've essentially done a new version either once a year or twice a year since 2015. You cannot actually install any of the five plus year old versions of Windows 10. Leave them as they are and have them be supported. They're all unsupported at this point. When you update them, you actually get updated to a new version of 10. Just for fun, since we're talking about it, let me find the wiki page of Windows 10, and then we can talk about it. There you because, go. Because this is what we do. But a lot of people don't know this. Well. I know this because I have read the wiki page of every version of Windows. Completely truth it's more true yes it's very very true scrolling 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 that is a long scrolling scrolling oh wow so there's all your versions on the left 1507 1511 1607 1703 1709 1803 1809 1903 do you see here home and pro that's all we care about 
Support ended 2017. These, these haven't been supported for years. These are all the various anniversary, fall creator update, etc. There you go. There is your 20 the only supported version is 22H2. Is 22H2. Mm-hmm. October 14, 2025. And this is probably, this might be the last version we ever get of it. I mean, they might do one more. Um, I don't know if they've got another one. You know what? They might have another one coming. So if you have this version installed and you update to this version, for example, that's a full download of Windows. Mm -hmm. That's a full new ver. They didn't create 37. Do you remember in the old days with like Windows XP where there'd be like 137 updates and it would take all afternoon to update? Yes. They decided to just roll it all up into a complete release. That makes sense. So, Windows 11, would you, would you like to be shocked? At? You're going to be shocked. At? Let me find the same page for 11. So, Windows 11, you got 21H2, 22H2, and 23H2. So, if you have the release version of Windows 11... October this year... You it'll... don't have a lot of support left. And if you're on 22H2, it'll be October 2024. And then if you're on 23H2, you got two years. Raise your hand in chat if you knew this. It's okay if you didn't. It's kind of... The average person doesn't need to know this. Just let Windows Update do its thing. I get it. But... It's good to know. How many... How, raise your hand in chat if you knew... Windows 8 was worse. Uh, uh, we all skipped 8. We stayed on 7 until 10 came out. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, Paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.